chapter 4 verse 3. We can't rule all nations when we out here fighting. We can't be out here fighting and hating. How you doing my sister? We out here for you here. Yeah? We love you sis. We love you. Hey you want, you want to talk about the, hey let's talk about God right quick. Hey the healing is right here. The healing is right here. Hey my brother how you doing? Hey you believe in God? You, hey what does it mean to love God? How you love God? Who can tell me? Bam. You obey him? All right, hey, hey. Let me, let me show you something. Give me John 14, 15. Give me John 14. Right, let me show you. Let me show you. Come here, man. Come here. Come here, man. Hey, sister with the purple hat on. Y'all come here with the bonnets. Come here. We're going to show y'all what it means to love God. Watch this. Watch what Jesus said. Read. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, Keep my commandments. You said obey him. You're not wrong. But look what he said. Read. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love God, what you supposed to do? Keep his commandments. All right. Do you know any commandments? Oh, but no. So, so how you love God if you don't know the commandments? Uh, just know they started it until you when you were young. Ten commandments. Really? Yeah. They do it inside our school. No. Okay. They used to do it when I was going to school. All right, give me some, give me some commandments. I'm gonna help you. Give me some commandments. Thou shalt not kill. Uh, that's right. Thou neighbor. Thou shalt not sleep with thy neighbor. Okay, uh, somebody can hold this. Thou shalt not uh, commit uh, adultery. That's right. Yeah, I, I know. I got one for you. What about remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy? That's Saturday. What's today? It's Saturday. So you just how you keep the Sabbath day holy? Don't work. Huh? Don't work. You're not wrong. What else? Uh, you was about to go to the store, correct? I stopped you from going to the store. Yeah. Watch this, be my 1031. I want you to stand there and hold that because he said he learned Christianity in school. But these are the patriarchs of Christianity. This Bring is where we got Christianity from. This is what you this is who you learned from. Which which um, denomination you was uh grew up under? What you say? Baptist, Catholic, or the gospel? NOI. NOI? Hey, Muslim? Yeah, foreign nation. All right, but you don't keep a command. Hey, all right, here, read what you got. Nehemiah chapter ten and verse thirty-one. Wait, hey, where are you going? He running. Come on, stop running, man. Come on, where you going? He run. Hey, bro, our people out here, man. Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter ten and verse thirty-one. And if the people of the land bring ware or any fiddles on the seventh day to sell to what to sell, hey, brother, my brother. If you selling, you breaking one of God's commandments on the Sabbath day. If you're buying and selling, you breaking one of God's commandments on the Sabbath day. What is that not to do? That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath Read. or on the holy day. And that's what we're not supposed to do. My brother, what you ran off for? Hey, we got water over here. We got water. We got Kool-Aid. Man, let's get it for free. You want to drink for free or you want to pay for it? We keeping you from breaking the Sabbath. 
That's love. That's right. That's what love is. Hey, hey, watch this. Give me first John 3 and 4. We're about to teach our brother not to sin. Because guess what? If I hate you, I wouldn't give you the keys not to sin. So we got a drink for you. Hey, hey give him one. Watch this. Read what you got. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Yeah. For sin is the transgression of the law. He said sin is the breaking of God's laws, bro. Right. You didn't know that. You was about to, if you went in that store and brought something just now, that means we not your brother because we didn't tell you to stop sinning. If you would have went in there and purchased on the Sabbath, you would have been in the midst of sin. If I love you, if I did, if I love you, would I let you sin? Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. Um, can I get a drink for the girl? For, for what she at? She want to come over here and listen. Tell her come over here and listen. We'll give her one. And she come over here and let, but we're not just going to give you a drink to go walk off and go sin. We're not rewarding nobody for sin. So y'all can learn something today. We're trying to teach you who you are according to the Bible. Let me ask you this, bro. In NOI, did they tell you you was an Israelite? So who, who, who was y'all teacher? Was it uh, Elijah Muhammad? Then who, who was it? Louis Farrakhan? No, Brother Timothy. Brother Timothy? Yeah, uh, I'm not from Dyer. Where you from? South Carolina. You're from South Carolina? Yeah. They taught you that you was an Israelite? You don't even know what an Israelite is, huh? Yeah, people from Yahudi, Israelites, the Jews. The Jews. So do you know you're a Jew? I'm not a Jew. Huh? I'm not a Jew. You, you are a Jew. <laughs> you are a Jew. Hey, listen. The Jews are black. I know that. The, the Jews, then how you not a Jew? I'm not from there. I'm a GT. I'm not there. I'm not that people. You are those people. All right, we're going to give you the color of Jesus first. We're going we're gonna to dispel one lie, then we're going to kill the other lie, all right? The first, first we're going to address this guy right here on this picture. So you think this Jesus, any one of these guys? I respect that answer. I respect that answer. If you seen that guy walking down the street on Claiborne, who would you say this is? Would you think that was Jesus if you saw him walking down the street? No. Huh? No. All right, what's your name, bro? All right, hey, my name is Natalia, yeah? Nice. Amil, your name is? Jamil. Jamil. I'm going to say your name right. All right, check this out, Jamil. Read what you got. Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right. We're going to use compare and contrast. Does this man have white woolly hair? What about the brother on the right? Okay, read. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right, Jamel. He said his eyes was a flame of fire. Do he have flame of fire eyes? What about the guy on the right? All right, come on. And his feet, come on, like unto fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brown. Think brass, brass band, copper. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color it turn? Now we're gonna look at these two guys again and we're gonna use common sense. According to the Bible, which one is Jesus? The guy over here, right? Hey, so what so what color is Jesus? There you go. You see how easy that was? Common sense, right? And guess who else? Guess what? If Jesus is black, what is his mom and his dad? Well, he's an Israelite. African American is a title we got in slavery. You not know African American, you God's chosen people. That's right. You're an Israelite, bro. And guess what? You know what an Israelite's supposed to be doing? Keeping God's commandments. Keeping God's laws. All right? How old are you, my man? A young man, right? So you just found out. What was your other question? You said Christ and... God loves everybody. God loves everybody. Where you got that from? Church. 
Church? Yeah. Church told you that? Say so you go to church on Sunday? All right, watch this. Hey, we're we going to read Malachi chapter 1 and verse uh, 2. Let's get that. Verse 4 and 2. Read what you got. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2. I have loved you, Look. saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. So if God loved everybody, how could be a person named Esau you hate? Who is Esau? Who is Esau? You don't know, huh? I'm going to show you something. See these people on this side right here? These are the people, the sons of Jacob. That's who they are. You, the, who name was changed to Israel. You will be from right here, from the tribe of Judah, American black. Because the first name he threw out is African American. You will be from this tribe, the tribe of Judah, which means praise of God. That's what your name means, brother. You understand that? So guess what? Does God love everybody that he just said he hated Esau? He loved the people on this side. So you got to know who Esau is, right? In order for you to understand that concept, you have to know who that is. Give me the sign. Who got it? Thank you, sir. We're going to, we're going to, hey, we're in class right now, all right? We're in class. Give me Genesis chapter 25. You hear me? Give me Genesis 25. This man, right, this is Jacob. This is your people, all right? This is Esau. Who is Esau now when you look at it? Remember, you thought that was Jesus. Now you're understanding this is Esau. They're the same race of people. We call them Caucasians today. Another name for them is what? White people. That's what we call them. But God calls them Esau according to the Bible. Did you know that? What did, what did God say about Esau What you just read? He said that he hated him. All right, now watch it. You got it? Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Come on. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. You think they're white people, but they're not actually white. God calls them red. They're different shades of red. Just like you're not black, you're different shades of brown. How you doing, my sister? Come over. We over here teaching who we are according to the Bible. What's your name, sis? Trelle. 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 And my name, my man again? Jamel and Trelle. Look, we find out who white people is in the Bible. You believe in God? Look at him. Read that again. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. So this man is red and hairy, read. And they called his name Esau. His name was called Esau. The reason why it, it, it described this color, because everybody before that, this time was already black people. Everybody was always black. When this man came into the world, he was different because he didn't have melanin in his skin. The name Esau means wasted away is he. Their nation is called Edom. Edom is the name for Edom is red. They're red people, they're not white people. When they stand in the sun, what color they turn? Red. What we used to call them in the south? Rednecks, right? The rednecks, because when they get hot outside, they may be red, all back of their neck. God calls these people Esau, according to the Bible. Now, now we're gonna show you, y'all wanna know what, um, how God feel about Esau? Approve it? How you feel about it? Give me Romans chapter 9, verse 13. We reading the Bible. We reading the Bible. You got a problem with that? Y'all step up close and get out, get out the, uh, the heat. Yeah, you just stand right there. Just stand right there. Check this out. We gonna, read, this is what he feel about it. Read what you got. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So how, how God feel about Esau? How God feel about Esau? He hated him. Do you think that's not fair? He did. He did go to the enemy. And you think that's fair for God to feel that way? You think that's right? You, think, you don't think it's right? God's supposed to, I thought you said God loved everybody. That means you've been mistaught. We've been lying to y'all. Oh, hey, this, I'm, I, I got to keep bringing up this sign because the sign makes sense. That the, uh, give me this right here. That one too. I want both of them. I 
absolutely can ask the question. What question you got? Why they going to hate We're going to keep reading. We're going to keep reading now. Why did, my sister asked the question, which was a beautiful question. She said, why did God hate Esau? Keep reading. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. He said, is God wrong because he hates he loved Jacob and he hate Esau. Read. Verse 15. For he said to Moses, I will, well, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Come on. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. God said, I made the world and I made these people the way that they are. Who are we to question why God did what he did? That's, what, that's his answer. He did it because he made them that way. They got a purpose just like you have a purpose. Your purpose is to rule on earth. Their purpose is to serve you. Right. But we don't know that because why? We either missed the sin, we don't know the Bible, we lost our heritage and slavery. So instead of ruling, guess what we out here doing? We fight each other, sell it off each other. We sin it. That's right, sis. So we gotta change that, huh? I, I like that. Don't move. Read what you got. Read that part again. I wanna hear. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Come on. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it. Watch this. Nor of him that run it. Come on. But of God that showeth mercy. It's God that decides. It's not us. Second Andrews chapter 6, verse 54. Second Andrews, and then we're going to get into that sin. I'm showing you that God hated him because God made these people to be a vicious people. Look, I want y'all to see something. Look what happened to black people because look what happened to black people because of these people. We got plantations right here in New Orleans. If you look down at the river wall, that used to be a slave port where we were dropped off and sold on Canal Street and on Bourbon Street. You understand? Now look, these are the people who gave us those religions where you believe God loved everybody. This man right here, white man named John Smith, when our forefathers and mothers were in slavery, he said. God love everybody. I know I raped your mama, but you gotta love me anyway. I know I just sold your son to another plantation, but you gotta love me anyway. I know I made your daddy work in the field for 18 hours till he till his bones got brittle, but you gotta love me anyway. God said those people gotta pay for what they done. Right. You understand? These people gave us Catholic, uh, Pentecostal, Baptist, Mormon, Seven Day Adventist. All of these people did this. You think, so my question to you is, should they get away with the things that they've done to our people? No. Would that be just? Is God not just? Don't the scriptures say? Revelation 13 and verse 9. Ain't the scriptures say, ain't the scriptures say, uh, you reap what you sow? Well, it's time for them to start, it's time for them to start reaping what they sow. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. Come on. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Read it again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Did these people, you put down, did these people bring us to America on cargo slave ships? Did they do this? Did those people do this to our people? So read that last part again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So what God said will happen to the people that led us into slavery? Bring it out. Come on, bro. They're going to get theirs. What is that, sis? They're going to get theirs. Bring it out. Do, do, do that, that sound good? Don't that sound great? Bring it out. You, know, you should be happy, sis. But we can't do it until we come out of the midst of sin. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.